you are not going to believe the insane amount of house you can get for 45,000 euro. Now you see this from the street view, but there's even more below. You're able to make an in-law suite and have another apartment to rent if you wanted to. And I'll show you that toward the at the end of the video. Going up the stairs fast because that's a boring part. Other than the view, so pretty. I wish I was walking this fast, but I wasn't. I'm starting at the top because that is, there's just the jewel of the houses at the top. You're going to hear me talk about the floors because the floors in this home are insane, as are the views. And they're old, original, not maybe not original, original, but they're very old floors. Now, that's my brother. He's not drinking a beer. It's either a Red Bull or a Monster Drink which you shouldn't be having for breakfast. A unique part of this house too is that you have a city view and on the other side, a view of the valley and you can see across to Sutera. You did see the open street down there. Now the levels below have balconies and at the end, I'll show you a picture of the house again so you can see that. But this room is just amazing. The The video doesn't do it justice how having this whole glass area is just almost 360. I mean, it's so much. And I would love to see it in a rainstorm and the lightning flash because I like it at my house, but I sure don't have this this much view. This was um, a utility room, a laundry room, but you could take that wall out and expand this room if you wanted to, and you could put the laundry somewhere else. Um, the house hasn't been lived in, I think, for like 20 years, but clearly the pigeons have been on the balcony during that time. This room, I also think would be great to have kind of, because the kitchens on this floor have as a dining room, and just to see that every night would be amazing. And the sunsets, come on. Now, the next room, I, they're, I think they use it as a living room, but when I make that turn, see that wall right there? That is, we've been told, is not a load-bearing wall. The other side of it is a kitchen. So you could really open it up and have a kitchen, living room, dining area up here. The kitchen is, yes, old. Most people take their kitchens with them, but at least you'd have a starter kitchen here. Um, but it, and also uh, kitchens in Italy are in much, much less expensive than states. So you could do a new kitchen, no problem. Here's a bathroom. The negative part of this house is that is the only bathroom in the house. On the positive side, there is plenty of space to add a bathroom if you wanted to, but that would be the only one in the home. Now, see where that chair is? You could put a restroom right in that area. Um, you could also do it on the next floor down. You don't have to do one on every floor. Uh, and the pipes could run on the exterior of the home. Again, look at the floor. The tiles are amazing. This is the roughest room in the house by far. And I really thought that I had another video that had um, us with the doors open. That is, in fact, part of the ceiling on the ground. Um, again, beautiful tiles under the ceiling on the ground, but that is part of the repair that would need to be done. Most of the prayers is just plastering on the walls, some ceiling repair, um, but the house is really sound. We walked through it with the technician and he, we did with the technician because we really want to know if bathrooms could be added. And he said, no problem. Now down on this floor, it's a mirror of the upstairs floor. So even though that room was dark, you'll get to see the scale of the size. You could also, like I said, add the restroom, but maybe add a walk-in closet to this area too. Whatever you want to do. Ugh, tiles again, so great. And in this room, the ceilings are terrific too. This this level doesn't need anything done, but you can't get the full grasp on the scope of how large the rooms are because so much of the furniture is in the center of the rooms, um, but it the rooms are really vast. This would be great as a bedroom. When we look out, I'm going to look down in just a second. This is a street behind the house, on the back of the house, and there's actually a garage below, and that's where you would enter from the garage. So when we go down later, you'll see that. But on this end, you have balconies, and on the other side of the house, you have balconies too. So how terrific would this be as a bedroom? Then you walk out, have like your own little living room or what have you, and then um, maybe... Oh God, if to have the whole floor to yourself, that would be awesome. And then have closet, bathroom, whatever. So, so many things to do. You can have, put a kitchenette on this floor and make it um, an entertainment floor, whatever you want. It's, but it, it's really solid. The windows and doors were great. Again, the tiles are terrific.
Now, as a reminder, we are not agents. We are just showing houses in our town of Musumeli because I remember how difficult it was to see things online when you're just trying to find some things overseas and see what they look like. The full video of this will be on our YouTube channel, The Amateurs Abroad, because it probably is a little too long and will cut off. Now, what I'm going to show you is going down the other level. Um, this is... Just, I mean, so one huge house. And now this part, I think, would be perfect for an in-law suite if you wanted to have a um, multi-generational house, you know, house here. It is perfect. You go down, what, four stairs, and then you go across, and that would be the in-law suite. There's also, you can go down four stairs and then turn right and go down even more stairs. And I'll show you that. That's where the garage and things are. But this area right here with all this clutter, um, take all that out. It could easily be kind of like, I guess, an Italian version of a mud room with your jackets and keys and all that stuff. So this room, you just came straight across. This is already set up to be a living room, dining room, kitchen. Um, when I turn around, you'll see the kitchen part. And then the next space is set up already to be a bedroom. Now you would still need a restroom on this floor probably if it was going to be in La Suite and also down below on the space I'm going to show you there. But it's really set up for that or even incorporate it in the main house. It already has great floors. See, that's the kitchen right there. So, and that door goes out to the street if they wanted to go out that way instead of going up these stairs. Now, so you came up straight and you went to that room. That would be perfect for an in La Suite. Now going down to this area, again, that I make, you know, a little gather, like, you know, purses, jackets, all that stuff. You're going to go down. You're going to duck because it is a little narrow. You can um, arch it up a bit to make it higher. This is going down into the garage, but also another level. So this is to the left of where the garage is. There's an access to the street from the back side. So you do have street access. And then there's another room back there. There are some water tanks. You can you can close that up. Have this as a bedroom. Have a, the other part as a living room. Or you can have a workshop, an office, um, an art studio, whatever. While maintaining the next room over as the garage, which it is a garage, or you could close that up and not use it a garage, or it's a big garage, it's a, like a two car garage, you could just make it a one car garage if you want. So this big space is the garage. So, so many different opportunities for this raw space. So really, um, this doesn't have the flooring like up there did in the in-law area, um, or what I'm calling the in-law area. Total raw space, but you could do so much with it, including if you don't want to rent out spaces or have in-law suites, all this could be incorporated in the main house eventually. It's not something that you would have to do right away, but you have that potential all for 45,000 euro. Yes, there's work to be done, but there's plenty of livable space in the meantime. We went down below street level on this side, but because it's a mountain, the other side is on street level too. 